ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் இன் த சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் அல்கர்தம் அனாலிசிஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு அனலைஸ் திஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் ஹியர் த டூ லூப்ஸ் ஆர் நெஸ்டட் பட் த டைம் காம்ப்ளெக்சிட்டி இஸ் நாட் ஆர்டர் ஆஃப் என் ஸ்கொயர் லாட் ஆஃப் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ஹேவிங் திஸ் மிஸ்கன்செப்ஷன் தேட் வென் எவர் தே சி த டூ லூப்ஸ் ஆர் நெஸ்டட் இமீடியட்லி தே வில் சே த டைம் காம்ப்ளெக்சிட்டி ஆஸ் ஆர்டர் ஆஃப் என் ஸ்கொயர் பட் தட் வில் நாட் ஆல்வேஸ் பி ட்ரூ why the time complexity is not order of n squared and what is the reason everything will be discussed in this video so try to watch it till the end before that if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you will be get notified whenever i upload a new video to find the time complexity of any problem our main goal has to be finding the time unit for each statement which we have discussed in lecture 2 If you want to know more details about it, then check it out in the playlist and watch that video. Now, look at this problem. Here, this declaration statement takes one unit of time because it will be executed only once. And then, this statement is present inside the nested loop. So, we have to find out how many times this statement will be executed or you can say what is the number of iterations. Here, this i starts from 1. and then it will be incremented by 1 till i is less than or equal to n so the outer loop will run from 1 to n that is n times and then this inner loop will run log n times see this type of problem we have already discussed in lecture 4 that is when the loop variable is multiplied by If you want to know how it is log n and why it is log n then check it out in the playlist and watch that video now on each iteration of the outer loop this inner loop will run log n times in the first iteration log n times in the second iteration log n times and this will be continued till the last iteration totally how many times will the statement be executed n into log n times therefore the time unit for this statement is n log n now the total time unit is n log n plus 1 and in priori analysis you can ignore this constant term so the time complexity for this problem is order of n log n see why this constant term is ignored and why these assumptions are made everything has been discussed in lecture 1 and 2 if you want then watch those videos now what is the space complexity here s yes, i and j are the variables we are using other than the input variable and each one takes one unit of memory and the total memory unit is 3 which is constant so the space complexity for this problem is order of 1 That's it for this video. If you have any doubt then make use of the comment section and if you like my way of teaching then hit the like button and show your support by subscribing to my channel.